Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Oh, hello. So Elliot was just telling me that he <laughs> he was uh. <laughs> we were talking about the proposal, and I was just saying I don't want to share it because it was like a very intimate moment that I was just sharing with Jen. And and then I said, "Oh, and you got it wrong." And and so I was explaining it, and then he's like, "Wait, can you explain it again?" I said, "Like, no." Everyone f***ing asked me, like, f***ing everyone, and I'm like, "How you propose to Jen?" <laughs> yeah, and I'm just, they're like, "Ah!" I'm like, f "Say ah oh again, f say ah oh again, see what the f happens." <laughs> Elliot's not as big a fan of sharing the the cutesy mushy stuff. Not at all. <laughs> Jen and I are like zero PDA too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, where's his rocket gun? Oh, just hit that guy. In the I fucking the hate when I have friends and they just like they get a new girlfriend and they're just making out all the time and I'm like, <laughs> wow, that's so fucking cool. I'm so glad I invited you over to my house so you can fucking suck spit out of that fucking lady's mouth. And drink from a pickle jar. And drink, and drink from a pickle jar. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I still remember that story you shared when we played Zelda. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, I love that friend, though. Dude, <laughs> that you're... was just gross, man. Yeah, yeah, he was a good friend. Oh, you're still buddies today? Yeah, yeah, we don't talk that much anymore, but yeah, no, no, we're still good friends. That was just gross as fuck. Okay, I, think... I was not talking about him specifically just now when I was just like, like a lot of my friends do that. They just make out, I'm like, Really? You're like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, keep it in your fucking pants. Yeah, I still remember after you told that story, I talked about the time I was with some in friends. The car. <laughs> yeah, they were making out yeah. in the back seat, and even though the mom was in the car with us. Yeah, it's so fucking hot, dude. It's oh like, my god. What the hell? Let's make an incest porno. So, um. Stepmom bangs stepson with stepsister and step girlfriend. So, um, <laughs> a lot has, uh, has, has happened in the past couple months since we last recorded. It um, really has. <laughs> so, um, I, we, so we haven't gotten to talk about Christmas yet. Yeah. So, uh, I, I wanted to share what we got for Christmas. I got, uh, um, oh, I took yeah. a bunch of pictures of my stuff. I, my sister got me this cool big black bar of soap called Big Ass Lump of Coal. <laughs> yeah. Here's a picture right here. Oh, got Before seen. I forget, this side note. Mm-hmm. Can you edit in the picture of my hand, the yellow hand, when I was talking about it in the first episode? Yeah, dude, absolutely. Thanks, Thanks dude. Cute. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. She, my sister, also got me a SpongeBob shirt. Yeah. Um, you, you and Jen have been watching the first hundred episodes of SpongeBob on DVD yes. recently. We're not very far in. Yeah, you're still on season one, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, she got me the that one. A, a black shirt with a picture of that part where Spongebob's singing Sweet victory mm -hmm. We never sacrifice the will Um Hell yeah I got her uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, I, I got her like a, a razor uh, and she a was razor? Having, yeah, a new razor Like her her, her, her uh, husband told me about that like, So hey. that she can fucking cut bitches? Yeah, exactly like, Get away from me! I'll slice you! Yeah Um <laughs> I, I think it's funny that she got me something called that had to do with coal. Because when I was when I was a kid, for Christmas I would always like find rocks in the backyard, paint them black with a sharpie, and then put them in her stocking. And Maybe be like, that's hey, why she gave you it. Pro probably. <laughs> you know, good old karma. Uh, okay. okay, jump when the line. <laughs> what if this game was rated M, and he just bends over and spreads his button, butt cheeks, and you have to play a mini water. game where you when shove you the gems in his butt? Paddle, He's like, um, oh, it's time to build a bridge. <laughs> what is with you and shoving things up your butt? Dude, what's Seriously. with you and not shoving things up your butt? And freaking when we played the last game, you were like, dude, check out the dragon's horns. Put them up my butt, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't want to put everything up your butt? What's wrong with you, bro? I mean, uh, I, I, I've still never had to get a... It's nature's pocket, man. <laughs> Come on. You mean your prison wallet? Yeah. Your dude vagina? Yeah. Yeah. What do people call it? Butt pussy? <laughs> I, um... Uh... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh... Well, let's see, what, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, my cousin got me uh, Shadow the Hedgehog for PlayStation 2. Ooh. Now, uh, my, I have a PS3 that can't... That isn't backwards compatible, sadly. Um... He's actually the one... You know, I'm not even gonna bring it up. He... Too late. I already brought it up. He accidentally broke my original PS3. Hell yeah. I, I, I let him borrow it, and he was carrying it in a bag. 
-hmm. outside, but then he tripped and dropped it oh, on no. a, and it fell on a stake in the ground. Oh no! So, and I was like, oh damn. T bone. So so he ended up just getting me a new one, mm. but it, it sadly wasn't backwards compatible. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Um, let's see, I'm not supposed to go this way yet. I think James just didn't even... But yeah, he, he got a Shadow of the Hedgehog. <laughs> what? <laughs> I completely missed whatever you just you said. You really did. I was too busy. Something about a T-bone dad joke or something. Nothing. Whatever. You'll find it when you're editing the video. Oh. Hokey dokey. <laughs> Hokey dokey, baby. Um... So, so yeah, well, we'll probably. I was thinking maybe we'd play Shadow of the Hedgehog or a Sonic game this month in order to coincide with the release of the movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, I realized eh, it's it's Elliot's turn to choose the game. So yeah, baby. Uh, whatever. We'll we'll play Last Shadow of the Hedgehog. Last game I chose was DK sixty four. Was it? I think so. Oh really? Yes. What? What were the games we played since then? Uh, let's see. Well, we we recently went over all the funniest clips for our best of twenty nineteen. Yeah. That was pretty fun. I guess we both agreed on Rayman. We both agreed that on... That was kind of a two... We both agreed on that. Yeah, generally, we... I think all the games... The past games we played, we both agreed on. Oh, I uh, think we've always agreed on the games, but, like... That was a game we both wanted. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm saying. So, like, that kind of counts. I think same with DK Tropical Freeze, but, uh... Yeah. But, yeah, no, you... I think it, you, you definitely deserve a turn to choose the next one. Hell yeah. Um, Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, dude. Probably. I've been playing Metroid... A, a, a lot of Metroid games recently, but I'll, I'll get to that later. I gotta finish my Christmas stuff. Uh, let's see what else. I got Pokemon Shield, <laughs> and uh, I ended up uh, playing it for a few hours, getting really bored, and then just... <laughs> I mailed it to my cousin and let him have it, and uh, I assume he's enjoying it. Awesome. Uh, you, you've been playing Pokemon Sword... I I had played Pokemon Sword, yeah. But you, you got bored of it, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't even make it to the first gym. Yeah, you were telling me... Uh, I remember you were showing it to me, and you were talking about how you just didn't like the visuals of the game. You felt they were very... They, I mean, that's what everybody's been complaining about. How like Yeah, you and I, we watched this video comparing the N64 fucking Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium. Stadium versus the Switch fucking Pokemon game. And I get that it's not really a fair comparison in all aspects because, look, Pokemon fucking mumbles from Happy Feet. God Fun. damn. Sorry, continue. Because uh, <laughs> Pokemon Stadium was only about battling in a couple mini games, right? Yeah, it was a very simple game, so they put more effort into the animation to compensate for that. But like, think about, I mean, Pokemon. Sure, it's a big game with all that shit, but once you make the engine, I don't know. I'd assume they have a bigger team at the Pokemon company working on that shit than Pokemon Stadium back in the 90s. I mean, I, I was watching, uh, there's this YouTube channel, this kind of journalism you, Nintendo channel I like to watch called Arlo. Okay. I don't know if you heard of him. He, he's, he, he plays, his character is a puppet. He looks kind of like oh, Cookie Monster. Oh, I have Monster. seen that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like, I like his, his videos. videos. Yeah, um, he, in his review of Sword and Shield, he just sp spent, like, s several of the minutes just talking about, like, yeah, so why is it that like Pokemon is the biggest entertainment franchise in the world. Mm -hmm. It's it makes the most money. Yeah. So you'd think they'd be able to spend more time and money on Nintendo's biggest selling property to make it look better and make it ready for its jump to a to a console for the first time. Mm -hmm. At least in the mainline series. You had like Coliseum and sure. Gale of Darkness and all that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and those were made by Nintendo. You know yeah, I don't know if they were made by Game Freak or Nintendo, but yeah, I think Game Freak normally handles the mainline Pokemon games for the yeah. most part. But but yeah, so... I mean, people have been talking about this for months now, and also the fact that not all the Pokemon are in the game, and which I personally don't care about as much. It's it's more the visuals. And, it's a big bummer. Yeah, it's... Uh, a lot of people are disappointed with it, but a lot of people also really freaking love it, too. So, you know. Here's the problem. People like me. I'm not even kidding. I am the problem. <laughs> no, seriously. Sorry, I'm, I'm eating raisins. Um, I'm the problem because I think that the game... I shouldn't even bought the game. Like, I don't know. I, I like it enough, but I don't want to encourage that. It's like they know that people are just going to buy it. Like me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to buy it because it's Pokemon and I want to play Pokemon. But I'm encouraging them to just be like, I don't know, not... not push back the release enough so they get enough time to keep polishing it. Because I have like, no doubt in my mind that that company and the people who work on it could put out something like fucking fantastic. But like, 
that's just the way software goes, right? Like you never have enough time to get to where you want. So you have to compromise and release like what you have. Yeah, I mean if you if you were if you wanted if you were working on say Mario 64 back in the day and like, okay, no, these graphics are horrible. We, we let's they they could have like waited and mm -hmm. developed it for several years until the GameCube to and then then release it. But they're like, no, let's just release it on what we got. But I'm not even talking about that in the scenario. I'm describing it would be like if they're making Mario 64 and they only have half of the worlds done. And mm. then they say, let's release this. And then the devs say no. But all the, you know, uh, people who are, are trying to make money, or like keep the company afloat, are saying, no, we have to. We have to release it by the holiday deadline. <laughs> and then they release it with a bunch of bugs and half the levels. It's not going to be nearly as good of the game as it was. It's, it, it's the eternal struggle of business versus art. Exactly. And it's that That's always going to be a thing, unfortunately. Did I, we talk about this before? I, we, we, we talked about it before, but before it was before the game came out. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know it, if the game was actually rushed or not. I've heard some people think it was. It, it seems rushed as fucking shit, Dex, bro. What, what, did you, what, what did you think of... Uh, what did you think of the wild area? Because that part was kind of cool, but... No, that part was super cool. Getting the whole the game should have been like that. Yeah, get, going in there and, like, seeing, like, oh, it's a level 40 Onyx, but I have, like, only level 10 Pokemon. I love that well, shit. That was kind of... That, that reminded me of Breath of the Wild, because it's yeah. like you're going into areas... Yep. ...and you realize, oh, jeez, I have a long way to go. I, that was kind of cool, but it, it, it wasn't enough to intrigue me to keep playing sadly i i don't know po pokemon just doesn't do it as much for me anymore i, I just fair. i just don't it's like the same the, thing over and over again i mean even then like i still play games and that i've been playing since i was three that are still the same thing over and over but uh, i don't know i just don't like the new pokemon character designs as much Nah. they just that's a big part of the appeal of the series and it, it just yeah. when you're not as into that anymore i feel like it's hard to get focused on collecting them yeah i don't know there's the one that's the freaking apple Yep. God. I think I told you about that one. <laughs> no, they're really not. Yeah, I don't know. Some people will say, like, well, yeah, well, you go back to Gen 1 and there's freaking Geodude. Yeah, that's creative. Or there's some designs. I like Geodude. Yeah, I mean, I like Geodude, too. The Fuck you, Geodude haters. Suck my rock hard nuts. I mean, if you... I should probably get that checked out. If you... <laughs> if you play... If you look at Pokemon for the first time as an adult, regardless of what generation it is... There's gonna be some designs you're not gonna like, but I, I don't know. I, I I guess I'm just not as into it anymore, sadly. No. <clears throat> Would you say you you'd get the next generation of Pokemon when it comes out eventually? If or, it's better. If it's better? Yeah. I think I'll actually wait for like I was really excited for this one once it started to like come close. Ah! <laughs> next time I'll roll goobs <laughs> after he's done talking. <laughs> bye bye. Bitch. Oh. And then James clicked next. Oh, we got a talisman. Next time on Royal Goobs. Next time on Royal Goobs. What? What? You're just nodding at me. Next time on Royal Goobs. You're just winking. What are you doing? Next time on Royal Goobs. 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 What are you doing? Next time on Royal Goobs. Next time on Royal Goobs. Next time.